Hi everyone, I'm back. I'm, I'm Jake Sakura, and welcome to another episode of The Awesome Cook. On this week's episode, I am going to show you two appetizers that I'm bringing to my family's New Year's celebration this year. But these appetizers can be done any time of the year. The first thing that I'm going to make is a layered bean dip and it's going to serve 12 people at one smart point per serving and it's going to be filling and fantastic. The second thing I'm going to do is my version of cocktail meatballs and those meatballs are going to, um, it's six meatballs per serving at five smart points or if you want to do a half a serving that comes out to two smart points. So they're both going to be super easy to do, going to be fantastic, and you're going to have something that you can enjoy at a party. So let's get started. So here are the ingredients that we need for the layered bean dip. You of course need beans. This is um, fat-free refried beans. You're gonna need some black beans, some diced tomatoes with green chilies, green onions, some lettuce, fat-free cheddar cheese, and some cumin and chili powder. And that's it. So let's get started putting this together. Okay, so I am back. I have layered, this is a two quart Pyrex dish with the fat-free refried beans. I have the sour cream in here. I put um, some cumin, a half teaspoon, and uh, <laughs> a teaspoon of chili powder. And I'm just going to mix this up. Just going to layer this. And everybody has a different order, so you can do however your preference is. This is just my way of doing it. <clears throat> I've seen some recipes that like to season the beans, sometimes they warm it. Um, this I always find it easier to do. Combining, I'm like, I just find combining it with the sour cream is the easiest. Less messy and less of a hassle. Okay. Just spread that around. Get. I'm just gonna use my fingers. You know me using my hands all the time. In the kitchen. Next, I have the black beans that have been drained and rinsed. Just going to add that. So we're putting beans upon beans. And it also makes a more satisfying um, dip. Okay, so I have the, I'm gonna drain this some more. I thought I drained it. I'm draining this can of uh, diced tomatoes with green chilies. Just dumping it on top. And this is kind of my replacement of salsa. I mean, you can totally use salsa with this, but there's points after so much salsa, so be mindful of that, whatever salsa you choose. And then I am going to 
all together I'm going to put a cup of cheese. So I'm going to put about a half cup on this layer. And the other half cup on top. I'm going to stop here. I do have green onions that I'm going to... Actually, I'm going to put those on already because that's not going to make matter. You can use regular onions too or leave them out, however you choose. And the last part, I'm going to put lettuce, lettuce on top of this, and another half cup of cheese. But this is the day before my party, and I'm not going to put it on there um, be for this reason. For me, the if you put it in the refrigerator overnight, the moisture out of the lettuce is going to seep in here, and it's going to make it soggy, um, and more liquid than it already is. That's my preference. You can certainly put it and put everything together and have it done. But tomorrow morning when I'm, I'm going to um, take this out and before I leave, I'm going to put the lettuce and the uh, cheese on there. And I, you will see the finished product um, at the end of this episode. So next, we're going to make the my version of cocktail meatballs. Hey, here are the ingredients for our cocktail meatballs. So the pre-made turkey meatballs, you can use, you can make your own. I know how to make my own turkey meatballs. Maybe some other episode I'll show it. But when you're bringing something for a party, you usually want to make something that's quick and easy. So this is what I'm doing. And I have sugar-free grape jelly. You're going to use a three quarters of a cup. You're going to use ketchup. And actually this whole thing will go in there. This is, actually I'm gonna bring it up. This is by Heinz, it's a reduced sugar um, ketchup. So it is way lower in points than regular ketchup. I, I like ketchup, but you have to be careful with it because there's a lot of sugar in it. And this is reduced sugar. I think on here, for one serving, that's a tablespoon, there's only one gram of sugar, which is a lot, lot less. <clears throat> and then a pinch of cayenne pepper we're gonna use. So okay. let's get started. So I have my crock pot here. You don't need a, such a big crock pot. You can see the size I have um, with a liner. And I am just going to dump the ingredients. So I have three cups of this sh sugar free grape jelly. And then. The ketchup, I'm using the whole bottle, so I'm not even going to squirt it. I just took the cap off. One other thing I forgot to mention, I am going to add garlic, so there's only a little bit left. It's just going to be a, a tablespoon of garlic. And then, like I said, a pinch of cayenne pepper. You can leave that out too. Let's just do a quick stir around. It's kind of potent. And it's pretty simple. You just put this in for on low for three to four hours and that's it. And you can make this ahead of time too to bring to someone's house. So if you don't have time the day of, you can definitely just make this ahead of time. So, and you will see the finished product at the end of this video. So there you have it. We have two appetizers that you can bring to a gathering. The first one, the layered bean neck, it serves 12 people for one smart point per serving. And then these cocktail meatballs of mine, it's a serving is six meatballs at five smart points or you can do half a serving for two smart points your choice so i hope you guys have a great new year and i hope you guys had a great holiday as well see you next time 
um, next Monday I will be back. Um, please hit subscribe. Also, leave comments. And if you're on Weight Watchers Connect, find me at J.A. Sakura 1981. That's J-A-S-I-K-O-R-A 1981. Stay awesome.